Hello, ladies and gentlemen, furries and nerds, and welcome to a game called Home, a unique horror adventure by Benjamin Rivers. Your game will be saved automatically at certain points. However, we recommend you put aside an hour and a half and complete Home in a single sitting. Wear headphones, turn off the lights. All I remembered at that point was finding myself alone. Oh, oh my head. Where was I? It was so dark. There was something by my feet. A flashlight. Oh, fuck yeah. That house. Where was I? I don't even know. That looks like a body. There was a body lying on the floor. Who was it? Uh... Should we go into the basement? Why not? I noticed that I limped as I moved down the stairs. How did I hurt my leg, I wondered. All I could really recall was coming home, seeing Rachel. I was upset. She looked afraid. I shook my head and tried to clear it. I knew I should head downstairs, try to find a way out. Thin gray mouse was stuck in a trap. It looked frantic but, frantic, but exhausted. Did I free it? Yes. It's gonna come back to bite me in the ass later, isn't it? Can I, like, sprint or something? The shelf was full of books on local history and hunting. It seemed like the owner of the house really knew the area. Fair enough. Okay, well, there was a door upstairs that we missed. So we're gonna go check that out. Dusk had a computer and some papers on it, and a single drawer. I didn't want to snoop, but did I open the drawer? Come on, a horror game. Of course. Receipts, pens, and a blurry photo. Look like a store of some kind? Why did this look so familiar? Blood on the wall. It smelled fresh and sickening. I realized there was blood on my shoes and pants. Oh man, I had to get out of there. Um, well? You probably shouldn't murder then. Murder's been known to put blood on you and make you uncomfortable. Some people, I guess, anyway. Doors sound different. An old dining table covered in dirty dishes for two people. There were dozens of beer cans and other liquor, liquor bottles among the dishes. The smell was turning my stomach. A black and white photo looked like the man upstairs and his wife, I guess. There was no reason for me to keep this. Did I take it? No. I figured this was no help to me, so I left it behind. That door wasn't nearly as loud as it was going the other way. Collection of rusty tools. These look like they'd seen a lot of use and were caked in damp smelling dirt. Why weren't they in a shed? Did you use them for murder? Hello. I found a picture of a couple. It looked like it had been moved a lot. There seemed to be a switch behind it. Did I push the switch? Of course. It depressed smoothly into the wall. I heard a faraway click somewhere. This isn't going to be one of those kind of games where I turn around a corner and there's like... Something that wasn't there before. Is there... You know what? I'm gonna take this picture. Just in case. I slipped the photo into my pocket. Maybe this would help me find some answers.
I still have no idea what the hell is going on. But I guess maybe that's the point. Did the switch do something in here? No. I mean, it feels like there should be something there, I think. There's a drip in the wall, I guess. Okay. Whatever. I guess we go down further. My question is, are we going to the basement? Or are we, like, on the top floor of a really large house? Fuck. There? I looked like hell. My clothes were dirty and torn, and there was blood caked all over my shoes. See? Murder. The front door was blocked by a pile of furniture. I knew I had to find another way out. Okay. The bathroom was spotless. Everything had been wiped to a sheen. I wondered if it was the man's wife who did the cleaning, or him. Is that really relevant? Honestly? There was a photo development tray lying on the floor. Some leftover negatives were sticking out, but they were pretty blurry. I thought I saw what looked like treetops. So, god damn it, random noises. The door was taped up and seemed to be stuck. By the smell, I guessed it led to the kitchen. The box looked heavy, but there were marks on the floor. It had obviously been moved before. Maybe I had found a way out. I must have moved it, right? Yes. I heaved the box forward and it finally gave. There was a ladder going underground where the box was. A dank smell rose from the passage. Did I climb down the ladder? This is not a good idea. I looked again at the photo I found in the house. The couple looked distant, like they didn't want to be in the same picture. I wondered where the wife was. My leg was in terrible shape, but I had to get out. So, how do I get back up? Footprints in the dirt. Look like more than one kind and a lot of traffic. And I don't like this, y'all. Places all over were marked on the old map of town. The industrial area near the river, various houses, and even the water tower near the old rail station. I really, really do not like this. Newspaper clippings from the local paper. They were all about murders in town over the last few years. Wait. There were photos. Photos of our house. What the hell was that about? Maybe I should have looked around more, tried to find some kind of information. I'm gonna get murdered down here, ain't I? Board table, covered in papers, dirt, and a handgun. I hated guns. I didn't take it, did I? You bet your sweet ass you took that gun. I tucked the small handgun into my pocket. Its weight was somehow reassuring. Fire it. Sorry. Oh, more ladders. It was so dark down there, and the air smelled stale and putrid. I can't believe what I saw. What was this place? Some kind of homemade rack, slung together with poorly cut wood and rope. It was caked with old blood. Somebody didn't actually use that, did they? Yeah, I'm finna get fucking murdered down here. Eat hooks up there? Rusted hooks, like the kind you'd find in a butcher, hung from the ceiling. They looked pitted and worn from heavy use. That man upstairs, did he do this? The question is then, who killed him? Crudely made shelves. They looked like they were holding cans of some kind of corrosive. The labels were worn and slick, but I could still see the warnings. looked like a cage? It was small, but there was something coating the bottom. Something wet. Uh, looks like blood to me, bud.
Got this way. The desk looked old and was caked with grime. On it was a stack of old, faded paper covered with what looked like names. They were scratched out, and illegible notes were written beside them in faded blue ink. I could only make out a few letters. Um, I don't know. None of it made any sense to me. There looked to be bones half dug into the ground, and the remains looked old. The faded clothes that stuck up amongst the dirt looked familiar. They looked like the clothes that woman was wearing in the photo I found. Was this the man's wife? Uh... So what was the click behind the picture, then? I guess we keep going down. Some kind of old boxes. They look like they were years old. Wait a minute. These boxes had old clothes in them. Clothes I remembered throwing out after Rachel and I moved to town. What the hell were they doing here? Sounds like birds. That's even better. Well, I got that awful chirping out of my fucking ears. I remember noticing the broken ladder. I had to be careful. Or I could just keep going. Fuck that ladder. There was a rope hanging there. I wasn't sure how sturdy it was. Did I take it? Yes. Maybe the rope would make that broken ladder easier to descend. Hang on. Uh, editing me. Play that back a little louder and in slow-mo. Thank you. Did you guys hear that shit? I'm not just losing my shit here, am I? The rope I found would have let me climb down the broken ladder safely. Did I climb down? Yes. I could hear a faint hum, and the smell from before started to get worse. Sounds like a generator. A bunch of old newspapers, wheat pasted together. A message had been hastily smeared on it. Keep out danger due to cave-in. Cave-in? Oh. Jesus, my ears. I could still feel a faint impression of the rope I had slid down as I pressed against the heavy metal door. It was probably for the best that I hadn't jumped. The ache in my leg was bad enough as it was. If I could have, though, I would have run straight out of those awful tunnels. Who would keep such a place? Now, I just want to point out, the door was only blocked with furniture. Couldn't he have just moved the furniture and walked out the front door? Or out any of the numerous windows that we passed? Like, really? At least I thought I had found that old handgun. It seemed to work, and from the smell of it, had been used already. I kept the gun in my pocket. It seemed a familiar weight there. But can I use it, though? An exposed ventilation shaft. Maybe someone crawled through there? It was so high up that it must have been a sore landing. Maybe that's why my leg is fucked up. There was dirt on the ground. It looked wet, and there was grass smeared within it. So, fresh? The arrow points that way, so I'm gonna go up. Disgusting. It's a mess of filthy garbage bags. There were rips and tears in most of the bags. What looked like an old videotape was sticking out. Did I take the tape? Sure. I wasn't sure what I hoped to discover with the tape, but I took it anyway. Well, yeah, don't you know being the protagonist of the story means you can loot everything? 
and get away with it? I could hear a faint trickling sound like water. What was that? Uh, probably water. Exit. Yeah, whatever. A kitchen knife covered in drying blood. Thinking about it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch it. Did I take the knife? Yeah. I slipped the knife in my boot since I had the gun in my pocket. Did I really need all this? Okay, you're in the house of a guy with a bunch of newspaper clippings about murders, bodies buried in his house, and dried blood everywhere. Yes, you need a knife and a gun. What the hell is wrong with you? You only have so many shots. You don't have to reload a knife. There was a rusty ladder sunk into the water which smelled disgusting. I knew I couldn't climb down that. Maybe I could find a way to drain the putrid water. God damn it. The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. I wasn't sure, but I thought it was some kind of regulator. I had no idea how it worked. One. I thought I could turn this water valve to shut off its flow. Did I turn it? Yes. I mean, it, it does say one on the wall. Two. Three and four. Thought I could turn this water valve, yeah. Now, those of you that know me, no, I do not like horror games. This was not the game I thought it was, but, you know, I'm kind of enjoying it. Minus all the random noises out of nowhere. I think probably the thing about this game that's actually getting to me is it's so quiet. The door was locked. Right. And I have a very, very limited field of view. So I think that might be what's bugging me. Did I miss something? Huh. I don't know. Locked. We've been in there. Been in here. Okay, I gotta turn it twice. Maybe I gotta. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I see. I'm picking up on what you're putting down there. Okay. So all the water should, in theory, be gone now. Maybe. Victory! Looked like the water drained out of that grate in the wall. Hmm. There's a small metal key left floating in the shallow pool of rancid water. Fuck yeah, I want that key. I want to go see what's behind that fucking door. Even though it's probably going to get me killed. I hope not. I don't know. I haven't actually... The door was locked. There was a musty smell from inside. Oh, my key. My key mean nothing? Even though I haven't seen a single enemy, or 
anything other than dead bodies. Um, I, I don't know. The safety poster had definitely seen better days. How old was this facility? The door was locked. I could see a faint light within. Okay. Um. Sure. Hey, look. Blood. Is that a camera? There's a security camera in the room. Must have been a way to see what happened. Maybe the VHS I ta tape found... Maybe the VHS tape I found could be useful. I don't know, bud. Maybe. I found another dead body. A sewer worker. By the wounds all over his face and body, I figure he'd been stabbed repeatedly. There was a key ring sticking out of the man's pocket. Did I take it? Yes. I thought about the knife I had found with some disgust as I carefully picked the keys from his pocket. I was almost worried he was going to grab me. And me too. All right. Back to the locked doors. I use the keyring to unlock the door. The shelf full of security tapes was strictly organized through, though covered in dust. It looked like the tape I found was the one that was missing from the shelf. There was a dusty VCR on the security desk. I wonder what was on that VHS tape I found. Did I play the tape? Oh no, the video showed a man right there in the sewers being attacked. The tape looked fuzzy and stretched like somebody had tampered with it. It looked like there could have been two men. Cool. Alrighty guys, well I'm going to go ahead and end this episode of Home here. As always, if you have any tips or suggestions, make sure you leave those down in the comments. Don't forget to go down to the description, check out my socials, make sure you stop in and say hi. I'd love to hear from you. But anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye!